Today we'll be working with protectors. To start, you need to get an old piece of cardboard. You get your printout, you glue your printout onto your cardboard, wait for it to dry, and then cut each protractor out. When you have done that, they will look like that. If I use the first protractor, and I have a look at this angle, and I want to know what is the angle between the lines. I center my protractor on the very point of the angle. I then take the zero and I put it on the other end of the line. Now I'm ready to measure. I have a look, I've got zero degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and I'm at about 40 degrees. That is my internal angle. This is less than 90 degrees and is called an acute angle. Let's use the other protractor and go and look at the other angle. If I have a look at the other angle, to measure the way that I did, I would have to turn my protractor on its side. I can still measure 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1 degrees. There is an easier way to do this. What I do is I turn my protractor and I just measure on the inside. I line up, I center it, I put my zero on the baseline and I look in the middle 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and a small one, one degrees. If I have a look, some protractors, this is hidden. I can still measure by looking through the 60, which is the same as the 120, and I can see it goes one past that, so it is 61 degrees. Let's have a look at an obtuse angle. Once again, I'm lining up and centering my protractor with the arrow on the place where the two lines meet. I get my zero degrees and I put it on the baseline. I start zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 131, 132 degrees.